Hi, good night, Liz. How are you, girl? Good night, teacher. It's been a pleasure to have you here. You you always are the first one here in class. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I remember that uh, um, when we started, it was really hard to be on time for you, remember? Um, no. <laughs> no, yes. I think it was like, I don't know, about a couple of times that you said teacher i'm sorry i just arrived in a few seconds ago because of the traffic remember no it was, yeah it wasn't really? me yeah it was true no it was not you it was no. dahlia dahlia maybe, maybe dahlia right maybe <laughs> okay give her the doubts hey are you ready for our last class today yes oh. today is the last one yes what i think so yeah okay Okay. Yeah, you see Marilyn's coming right now. Yeah. And teacher, you know when it's going to start the next model? Ah, uh, no yet, but that will depends on how many of you have sent uh, the paper, the documentation, and all the stuff. So sometimes it depends on that. Okay. As soon as you send it, maybe you have sent it, but maybe the other one doesn't. Uh, so you we had to wait and then reorganize the teams and all the stuff. So there's a lot of work to do. You cannot imagine. <laughs> but you are going to be the teacher again. No idea. You don't know? No, mm -hmm. I wish there was like some students that I have been with them like uh, between three or four models together. together. But um, there are some that don't. So I don't have any idea. They just let me know you gotta be with this and this. Okay. Okay, so my mind is prepared already. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know. I don't know which ones I'm gonna be with. Last model I was with uh with another type of program of in support. So it was another things to do, more evaluations to do, like oof, a lot of stuff. So I don't know. But whatever they put me on, that would be nice. I wish I would continue with you guys because that would be awesome. But um, that doesn't depend on me. Mm, me too, because I was talking with one of my co-workers mm -hmm. and they are in another models, basic, basic one. Or basic one. Thing. Uh -huh. But they were asking me, how was the teacher? And I was saying, you take yeah. crazy, crazy one. <laughs> no, like, no, yeah. no, absolutely like if, no. Like if she I... drinks like three bulls, every <laughs> Red Bulls every night and yes. No, but <laughs> I was saying that I am happy because you are a great teacher and I've <laughs> learned a lot. You see, Marilyn, because... yes, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. And, uh... <laughs> and some of them, um, tell me that the other teachers are not like like you, that you are very helpful and talk yeah. much and, and teach teach a lot of things. Thank and you. I'm happy, I'm happy. Oh, thank you so like much. Oh, well, I'm trying so to do my best. That, no, thank you for your comments. I really appreciate them. Well, you know what? I don't know if I can say that is a positive or negative thing. That depends. But that is one of my weakness that I talk too much. No, I but do. That is good because I think I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but well, in class is positive, but sometimes in a lie when a conversation is not too positive. Because I don't know. But when somebody I, I think here in El Salvador, there is an expression with a guitar, right? Uh, what is the name of this? Uh, uh, she she um, doesn't want to give away the guitar. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that means like, like <laughs> forever and never, right? And you know what it was? It was, I think I developed that when I'm getting like, when I was a teenager and then university and then older, because um, when I was in, in kindergarten, my mama didn't have any problems with me related that I was speaking during the teacher class. No, it, my sister was the, the one who got in trouble because uh, when she was a little girl, like three to four or five years old, they said they put like positive things on the qualification details information, but in the observation area, they said, 
the only thing that she needs to improve is that she talks too much. She speaks too much during the class. And, and you know what? And that was her issue in first and second and third and fourth. And then, no, her college history. So, mm -hmm. you know, her school history as well. So, and me it was the opposite way. I don't know. But maybe because I'm a journalist, that could be the reason why. <laughs> I speak too much. <laughs> Doesn't matter in which language. My mama said one time, you know what? Could you please sip it a little bit if you don't mind? I was like, okay. But you know what? <laughs> in my, my, my niece, my niece, the one that lives mm -hmm. in Costa Rica, once she was little because she was uh, with us still here in El Salvador. And I remember that we went to my mother's in law's house, which she lives in Allegri El Sultan. And uh, we went to the, by the lit literal highway. Yeah. And that takes longer than the regular one, than, than the Pan American one. So I think we took like a two hours and a half to arrive to her house. So you cannot imagine, my niece was talking during the whole trip. <laughs> it's journey. Yes, and, and I told and I told my, my husband, you know what? I know that I'm a talkative person. I know that, that, but when I arrived here to your mama's house, I said, finally she's gonna be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you imagine that she disturbed me? was supposed to be the talkative teacher right and, but you cannot imagine she was like talking a lot of things like look at that horse look at that cow look at that oh my goodness you know like and, and auntie was going on and 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 aunt and uncle you look you know what happened that she was little so uh all babies have like a squirrel voice and like right and I was like, yeah. oh, my God. Annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My niece is that way. Yeah. But my, my, my mama niece. told my sister once because my, my sister said, you see, you regret about your sister, which is me, right? And you have a child that speaks more than your sister. You see? But mama, no, no be happy because she can speak. Imagine that you have a, ch a mm. child that cannot speak. You will wish that she's uh, said uh, uh, something, right? But don't, well, she's healthy. She speaks. So, well, sorry, but go for it. <laughs> so that's why, oh my goodness. But you cannot imagine she talks a lot. And teacher, <laughs> you are the youngest sister. Uh, yes. You know what? I'm the dog. I'm the <laughs> baby. That reason, you talk a lot. And because not. my youngest sister uh -huh. talks a lot. A really? Lot. Really? No, you know yeah. what? I think it's the family issue. <laughs> because <laughs> no, yeah. because I, 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 I don't talk too, too much. much. My, no. my father was socialist, so soilist, sorry. And at the same time, he was journalist. So I think, and teacher. So I don't know. Uh, well, in my family, we have a lot of professions. We have like doctors, right? Nurses, teachers, physiologists, psychologists. Ah, but I don't know. But my my father used to like speak a lot. I think I'm coming from that side. I think. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh well i think you have been working in a call center as well <laughs> maybe yes. mm -hmm. yeah maybe right that could be the reason yeah. hey uh, we have jaime finally we missed jaime yesterday right girls <laughs> yeah. yeah jaime and what what happened what happened with your um with your internet what was the issue sir uh, well, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, I've been uh, all the weekend. I mm -hmm. had problems with my internet, uh, wow. also with the, also with the computer. With the computer, but yeah. it's but it's not something related to the machine. It's related to the com the internet provider. Yes, oh. it's problem. The main problem, but now they uh, they have the solution. Oh, good. It's working good. Wow, oh, that's great. Yes, because I was thinking, and, and you know what? I was about to write to you this afternoon, but I said, no, I'm going to be better wait because I will ask you, 
Do you already fix the computer and the internet? He goes, yeah, yesterday, you know what? It was really fun. Yesterday, yeah. mm, we had a virtual picnic, if I can say that, right? <laughs> a virtual picnic, yeah. I, and saw, I, was, I saw the pictures. Yeah, it was really nice. Hey, did you prepare something about any chance for us, Jaime? Mm -hmm. ah. yeah. To be honest, no, teacher. That's why the, his internet didn't work yesterday, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> nah, just teasing you, I mean, that's okay, but just, you, yeah, you know what is, uh, Julito gave us a really good kitchen recipe, so that really? looks really yummy, yeah, you should ask him to share the recipe with you and the ingredients. I will keep in touch with him. Yeah, but tell me something, well, it doesn't matter if you don't have the picture or the presentation, like, like Claudia, for example, uh, but, um, do, do you remember any dish that you prepare that is really delicious and everybody loves it? Mm, my mother... Uh, no, that you prepare. No, <laughs> yeah. she, she told me. Yeah, she talked to you. She talked to you. How to, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, mm, okay. How do you prepare them? <laughs> mm. Well, well, first of all, give us the ingredients. Besides eggs, what else do you add? Uh, onions. Onions, okay. Uh, uh, a little bit garlic. Garlic, okay. Also chili. Chili, okay. Green one? Yes, green okay. one. Okay, okay, okay. And then the, also the, the eggs, two eggs. Two eggs, okay, it, cool. It depends what you, you need to eat. Mm -hmm. And did you add something else or no? No. Yes, no. And of course, do you use butter or do you use uh, oil? Uh, butter. Butter. I prefer with butter. Yes. Okay, so do, do as a favor. Okay. Can you please explain to us how you prepare those scramble eggs? Okay, first, uh, you, I don't know how to say, but you broke the, the eggs. You broke the eggs, uh -huh. Yeah, broke the eggs and you mix with uh, with a fork. No. Yeah, yes, with a fork and okay. you add uh, the chili, uh, the tomato, and the garlic. And the garlic, okay. E everything is chopped. <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay. Chopped. Okay, chopped. Mm -hmm. Then you turn off the stove and mm -hmm. put the pan. Uh, it's okay to say the pan. The pan, yeah. Uh, the pan, you, you add uh, the butter mm -hmm. for uh, at least 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then you mix the, the egg with the garlic, uh, the chili, and the tomato. You, you cook it uh, around three minutes. Mm -hmm. Did you add, and then uh, you add some salt, some pepper, I don't know. Yes, at, at the end. At, at the, the end. end. Mm -hmm. And finally? And finally, mm, you serve it and you enjoy it. <laughs> of course. Yay, bravo, you see it. That was awesome. Those could be like scrambled eggs with vegetables, right, girls? Mm. Yes. Yeah, yes. those are really good. I love them. I love with, I don't know about you, but I love them with jam. I love them with Lorocco, with mushrooms, <laughs> because they're versatile, right? You can, you can do it. You can prepare them with a lot of things. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I don't know what they said, but I think they said that when we're a younger, like kids, we can eat one day, one egg daily, but maybe <laughs> when you're getting older, like me, you can, I think you can eat like two or three times a week. I don't know if I'm mistaken, but you know what? I, I cannot say no to eggs. I love them by heart. Yeah. 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 My sister has a, a little farm there in Costa Rica. And she raises uh, chickens and roosters and hen. She has two roosters. So every morning, uh, my niece go around because it will be like three places when they have the chickens and the hens and the 
and the roosters, and she's looking around for eggs. So they do not buy eggs anymore. They consume what they eat, what the hens produce. Can you imagine? But they are like this. They are like these ones. They are big ones. Four yeah. hands, right? But <laughs> they are like these ones. Yeah. But you know what? My niece has to look around because there's one a baby girl dog who loves eggs. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes she has eaten like three or four eggs. Can you imagine? <laughs> so my my niece is like running around before the other baby baby girl, baby dog girl. If, find them and basically eat them for breakfast right <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah and you imagine so that's really cool that's excellent okay. thank you so much for your recipe i think kind of like this is what marilyn was preparing yesterday for dinner you know what yes. because we found it's her exactly we found her in the middle of preparing the dinner and, she, and I said, you know what, I'm sorry, but you can explain to us, right, what you're doing. And it was really a lie recipe. And it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, really good. It was like a typical yeah. dinner, right? But it's really yeah. good. You know I what? Loved... But, yes, my goal is to learn to cook. What? One of my goals of this year is uh -huh. learn to cook. Very good. That is a really good goal to reach. And... <laughs> In percentage, how are you right now? <laughs> Tell us the truth. Like okay. zero point five or no? At least two no. percent. One percent. One percent. Okay, one percent is one percent. <laughs> I'm honest. Yeah. No, but that's cool. So you see, your one percent is one percent, right, girls? Well, you will. Yeah. At least you know how to prepare scrambled eggs. You can also have Marilyn about a really good dinner. You can also have Cloudy about chicken breast. When they were like, oof, delicious. <laughs> yeah, you can also ask Gabby Velasquez about um, tacos. That's cool. was mm. really nice. good, her recipe. And for three toppings that she also present. Oof. Or maybe Julio about, um, was it the kitsch? Oof. And if you want, you, if you don't want to buy like a cornflakes, if you want to prepare your homemade cornflake, you can also ask Mr. Jose Torres. Who can, you can, yeah, you cannot imagine. He, what, in, in, you don't know, right, Jaime, but and I, I didn't know until yesterday that it is a really long process. It takes really? more time to prepare homemade cornflake in granola than doing a chicken breast. Can really? you imagine? Yeah, chicken breast. I, I remember that Liz, maybe you, you can correct me, Liz, but it takes around 30 minutes, right? 30 minutes in total. Exactly. And also, making rice too. Including okay. rice. Can you Pre imagine? Rice. Yeah. Uh huh. And Josue said that it took like two hours and something. <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that it's a good idea to visit the Liz house. <laughs> on um, several days yeah definitely <laughs> definitely definitely so yesterday uh, yesterday you know what Jaime I was starving I already had uh, uh, dinner by the time that we had classes but uh, watching all those recipes and all those jobs goodness <gasps> <I might see. laughs> yes so I decide to drink guys to uh, to drink another cup of tea <laughs> <laughs> yes because i was like if i eat uh more no i'm not going to lose calories so i decided to pray to prepare um the um, remember the red roses i, I sh did i share with you red roses yeah right yeah. okay <laughs> that, that red roses oh it was really good you know what it takes like if you are have you ever bought a petal or rose petal rose petal of the rosa have you already bought them no. yeah no how you smell the rose? Ya no olido la rosa? Okay, so the, the tea tastes exactly like if you are smelling the, the rose. Ugh. I love and tea. Me too. And I add some honey. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. <laughs> and today I drank, I tried the jasmine flower tea. Oof. That was amazing. <laughs> so yes. 
I love it. And I thank my sister for that because she sent it to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because she knows that I love teas as well, by heart. But I think my mama, my mom is the one who bought it to me. I don't know. Well, but I'm so happy. Yeah. And yesterday, guys, I showed Jaime how to prepare tea. <laughs> it, was, it was a really quick recipe, but it's good. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> so we have a lot of people here. We have Anita. We have Elsie. We have Claudia Cecilia. And also we have Claudia de Enriquez. Welcome, girl. I'm so happy to see you. Yay. That was awesome. Hey, hey, I'm so, so happy. Oh, you know what? And Cecilia uh, gave us a really Italian recipe with salmon. And uh, I think it was Brazil. Yeah. And you know what? A glass of wine. Mm. No, that was, that was really a romantic dinner. <laughs> yeah. That is really smoke, smoking salmon. One, I was one. Oh, I love it. Oof. But she said that we cannot, if we cannot find a, a smoky salmon, you can also substitute for ham. So that's good. You can also ask Claudia Cecilia about her recipe. You will love it. Hey, guys, let me ask you something. Uh, do you have any plans uh, for this coming uh, weekend, by any chance? Any plans? No, you're gonna have a day off, right? Because uh -huh, we're not going to have classes. So uh -huh, I think you already started thinking about what am I gonna do? Okay, which are your plans, Claudia? Tell us, Claudia and Enrique. This, this weekend, we are going to the Ataco. Ataco, to the yes. flower root. Oh yeah, only yes. to the flower root or, or, or specifically to Ataco? Specifically Ataco. Mm, why you yes. decide to go there? Because uh, my parents, uh, they have a, a house there mm. and we are going to, uh, they usually go on weekends. Mm -hmm. So we have, I think that we have maybe two months that we didn't go there. So. Okay. Are you planning to go as a family? Or are you going to go with your parents as well? No, I I think no. We are going with my husband and my parents. They live in Cincinnati. Oh. And, uh -huh, and they they are going to their too, but for themselves. Oh, got it. Are you going to take your doggy with you? Your baby dog? I no because they have one and I don't like that the dog is mother my my little baby. Ah, so uh -huh. treat, treat her bad. What? Treat, Sorry. Treats your baby bad. Treats her no, bad. No, 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 my, no. My my baby dog. Uh huh. Yes. No, no, no. But it, no, no, no. He he bother my my dog. Ah, oh, okay, okay. The dog. Uh, it, my parents' dog is a boy. Ah, <laughs> and she's a girl. And my is girl, yes. Ah, so it's not a bad combination, okay. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and you don't want to be a grandma, so I understand that perfectly. <laughs> yes, and, and I think that my, son, my, my sons, they are going to stay home, so they- ah, so they're going to take care of her. Yes. Okay, that's cool. Hey, listen carefully, guys, because I'm going to ask you some questions after that, right? uh-huh very good so claudia and Enrique, she's going to she's going to uh, a taco right yes. with all her family all right well this not the sons and not the baby dog but at least with her husband okay that's awesome what about you josue what do you think are you're going to do this coming weekend are you going to prepare mm, this coming weekend um Nothing. Nothing. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. No, nothing uh, special. No, of course, nothing is special. But any plans or or that you are sure about something, or it's probably that yeah, yeah, you do something. Mm, no, I guess it's not probably. So you will stay home, or you are going to stay home. 
Mm, I'm going to stay home. Mm. So, Mr. Josue decides to stay home. Are you sure about that? Okay. Yes, I'm sure. A hundred percent sure. Yes. I don't believe him. Hundred percent. But but he said a hundred percent. Hey guys, when I ask you something, talking about Josue's a uh, interesting coming weekend. <laughs> All righty. Well, I said I asked him, "Are you going to stay home, or you will stay home?" Hey, is there a difference, by the way? Yes. Yes. What is that? What is the difference, Elsie? Okay, she said yes, but then it's quiet. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, she has two two Elsie, so I was like, which one she's talking? No, because it's raining. So ah, I, okay, I am okay. using my ear. Yeah. I got it. Got it, got it. Okay, yeah. cool. But the difference is uh, when you use will, it's a probability. And when you use a uh, going, it's more uh, true or, uh -huh. or I don't know. No, that's cool. That's cool. Very good job, yeah. Elsie. Yes, exactly. Okay. So will is when you are not totally sure about what you're going to do. That is when you use will, right? And going to, as Elsie said, is when you are like 95.9%. That you're going to do that for example um cecilia um uh, henriquez i don't know what happened to her something happens with her internet maybe but she's gonna come back and she said i'm we are going to go to attack which means that she is she's sure about that right there's no doubt about it so you know what's the difference sometimes guys would ended up to confuse will and going to but there's a lot of uses but this time when we're talking about future things, uh, if you are sure about something, any activity that you're going to, to, uh, to do in the future, you would need to use going to, do not use will. And there's another thing, talking about weather conditions. Imagine that it's really cloudy, right? And then we, have, we, we can see and we can hear the thunders. So what do you think is going to happen? It's going rain. Exactly. It, it will rain, right? It will rain or it's going to rain? It's going to rain. Yes, when you're talking about weather, never use will. You always have to use going to. That is really, really important. We're talking about weather conditions. It's going to, it's going to be a sunny day. It's going to rain. It's going to storm. It's going like whatever. But going to is really, really important. All right. So tell me something. We already have heard about really interesting uh, situation with Mr. Josue that he's going to stay home this weekend. He's a hundred percent sure about that. I don't believe him, but he he said yes. Okay. Very good. I think he's going to try to prepare his recipe. Do you think, guys? He will try to do his cornflakes. If you do that, uh, Mr. Josue, please let us send us a picture, okay? <laughs> awesome, Josue. I think you're going to study because you're still in the university. Yeah, and maybe playing yes. video games. It, eh. maybe. Ah, maybe no. He's going to play video games. I'm hundred percent sure about that. All righty. What do you think about about that, um, Cloudy? What? Which are your plans for this coming weekend? Uh, Claude Elisette. Well, I'm going to the supermarket and to the gas station. Maybe okay. I will visit some relatives. Okay. And the most of the time I pretend I'm going you, to stay home. <laughs> you pretend. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure you're going to stay home? Oh, yes. <laughs> I like uh, to stay home. You like to stay home? Why? Because I have everything I need here. <laughs> For example, um, besides Netflix and Amazon? 
Oh well, my food, <laughs> my favorite food, my video games. Um, video games. You can chat with Josué. Yeah. <laughs> and I like to watch movies too. Netflix. Netflix. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I understand. So you are going to stay home. Yeah. It's a it's a hundred percent. Okay. Well, it, you know what? That will be your predictions, right? Aha. Well, maybe then you can let me know because we're not gonna have class, but you can send it to me. Teacher, you know what? I was not a good, I was not okay. At the end, I went to <laughs> okay. I don't know if your predictions came true or not. That could be good. All right. So we have two people that will that are going to stay home, which is gonna be Claudia Lisette and Josue. Torres, what about you, Elsie uh, Vasquez? What are which are your plans for this coming weekend? I'm going to a wedding. I, you're going to a wedding on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. What about Sunday? Any plans for Sunday? I going to a church. To a church, okay. Yeah. And then. And in the afternoon, mm -hmm. I watch a movie with my family. Yeah, you 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 will or you're going to watch a movie. I'm going. Ah, any special one or you don't know yet? No, no. not yet. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. You're not sure. All right. So you will probably watch a movie. No, you're going to watch a movie, but you don't know which one. Okay, that's awesome. Yes. All right. Thank you, Elsie. What about Anita Pineda Creole? Creole, yes, Creole. What, which are your plans for this coming uh, weekend, Anita? We are planning to go to the beach. Ooh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure because of the rain. Wow. So you are going to or you will go? You will go. Anita, are you sure that you're going to do that? Or is a probability that you go? Hello. Anita, I don't know Hello. what happened. Hello. So are you sure that you're going to go to the beach or no yet? Not yet, not yet. So that means, are you going to or you will? Or you I have, will. Yeah, will, very will good, go. because it's a probability. Yeah, hopefully you can you can do it because it will be really nice. But you're right, yes. depends on what the weather, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, Anita. Hopefully you can go, you can take pictures and you can share with us. Yay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Brandy, what about you, Brandy? Which are your plans for this coming weekend? I'm going to the park. I'm going to play with my daughter. Oh, really? Uh, Yes, and then I uh, go to work for a and I took the phone. Oh, okay, that's yeah. awesome. Hey, welcome back, Claudita de Enriquez. It was nice that you could fix your internet problem. Yes. Yeah, I was like, no way, but hey. <laughs> Claudita, we're talking about the difference between going to and will which is uh, basically in, in resume, going to is when you are sure about activity that you're going to do in the future, in the near future. And will is when you are not totally sure. It's like a probability that something happens. So yes. they were sharing their ideas and their activities. What about, uh, of course, right? You said that you're going to go to attack. So Jaime, what about you, Jaime? Do you have any plans already for this coming weekend or not yet? Yes, yes I have plans. Okay. For a hundred percent sure. For a hundred percent sure. Okay, go ahead, sir. I received uh, an invitation from my uncle uh -huh. to his house. He lives in uh, Amatepanto. 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 Where is it located? San Luis Talpa. San Luis Talpa. Near from the airport. Near, oh, yes. I know San Luis Talpa, but I yeah. do not know Amate Campo. Is it is like a recreation place or no? It's the, it's the, name, the name of the beach. <gasps> the name of the beach, Amate Campo. That's amazing. Okay. So you're going to go to the beach as well. 
Work on Friday. Uh -huh. uh, we are planning to have a dinner in Colo Quinta. Uh -huh. Pupusas, yes. of course. Yes, of course. Pupusas. <laughs> and then we go uh, to, to the house of my uncle at the uh -huh. beach. Maybe you can, you maybe you meet Anita. Anita, she said that they will go to the beach, but they're not 100% sure because of the weather. Maybe you can meet her in Amate Campo. Who knows? Maybe. Right, it's a possibility. Yeah. Hey, Claudia and Enrique, are so you about to say something? No? No, no, teacher. Ah, okay. Like <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Because you raised your hand, so it was like, okay. Okay, that's okay. No, no, teacher. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. What about Blanky? Blanky, which are your plans for this coming weekend? Well, I'm going to take um, the car, the maintenance. 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 Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, wow. So it will be on Saturday? It's, it's all, all day when. I know. Saturday. Yes, I know that happens when it's maintenance process. It could take the whole weekend sometimes, right? Yeah, that depends on what is exactly mm. they're going to do. Mm -hmm. If they're going to switch oil. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. So hopefully everything goes okay. Eh? So you're 100% or you're not quite sure? Is where <laughs> Okay, so you, you 100% sure. Okay, cool. Uh, 100. 100%. 1,000% 1, sure, I, I think. Yeah. All righty. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So I don't know, Claudia Rivera, can you hear us? Claudita. Hopefully, she doesn't have any internet issues as well. You know, hopefully not. Well, maybe she does, right? We got to wait. So guys, I know that you are really good classmate and you're active listening or by heart. So may I ask you guys, um, how many of you said that they are going to stay home? How many? I need just a quantity. Uh-huh, Claudita Enriquez, how many of you say that they are going to stay home? Way high, me way, way. I, I, I only heard uh, about one. Only one. Okay, so only which one. one? So which one did you hear? Which one? Now I need names. The same after me. <laughs> I ah. don't remember. <laughs> ah, okay. So like, eh. okay, all right. Who can help? Um, Claudita, Elsie, Jaime, Brandy. Anita, who can help Cloudy? Okay, yeah. Javi, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I, there are two persons that are gonna stay home. Which uh, ones? Jose, so, yeah. Jose, and, and Claudia Lisette. Exactly, you're right, that's a oh, good memory. Okay, so you were missing one, Claudita Enriquez, only one. I think you you uh, you listen, uh, Josué, but I think you forgot about Claudia. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Ah, yeah. was bad. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I only heard yes. one. Yes. Accuse the internet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, that's awesome. Hey guys, what about a uh, Claudia? What is she gonna do this coming um weekend? Which are her plans? Do you remember? Claudita Enriquez, what is she going to do? She's planning to go to a taco. Exactly. Is she planning to go alone or with her husband? With her husband. Very good. Very good. What about guys? Uh, 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 Anita, what is she probably do this coming weekend? Probably. Going to the Oh my god. 